Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown. Today is leg day, and uh, I think today I'm going to really focus more on the squat and uh, leave the Titan compact leg press for another Monday. Um, we're going to see how that goes. It just depends on how I feel while I'm squatting. I'm going to use the free weight squat and I'm going to also use my Smith Machine squat and uh, just kind of mix things together and uh, try to get a good workout with just squats today. So uh, I'm using a different phone. I have a Motorola, an old phone that my wife uh, found at her workplace that nobody uh, ever claimed. Uh, I've had it forever and uh, I thought, well, I'm going to use this phone and see how it does with audio and video because my phone is horrible and typically I, I use my GoPro 9 but here lately I've been kind of switching back and forth between that and using my phone and uh, so anyway long story longer uh, we're using a different phone today just uh, for this video see how it works so uh, you're gonna notice on this squat rack here I have 45s on each side we know that that's technically about 135 pounds but you're also going to notice if you keep up that the J hooks are down one notch now I typically don't do that because uh, with my chronic bad back getting in and out of this position is typically not a very smart thing for me to do but I'm going to do a light set of this and see how I feel with it also keep in mind with my cruddy shoulders, and I know those of you that watch my videos all the time are tired of hearing all that, but some people need to hear it because they've never seen my videos. So i got to let you know that I have a horrible shoulders. I can't really even hold the bar back here very well. I have a chronic bad back and a few other issues throughout. So, But I do the best I can, and I'm happy to be uh, able to even move. So uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do with 135, and we'll go from there. Alright guys, I'm going to do another warm up set of that and we're going to go from there and see how it goes. Stick around. Alright, so I got two sets of 135 done, uh, 10 reps a piece. Jumping up to 225, I'm going to see how I feel. Of course that's getting to where it's heavy on me. It makes it harder to hold the bar and more weight on my back. So uh, we'll, see what, we'll see what happens from here. My goal is not necessarily 10 reps, but it's to do the best I can and uh, think about the longevity of the workout because I'm just beginning, so I don't want to wear myself out. Come on. 
six. Those felt pretty decent. Uh, I'll probably go up a little bit more and uh, see what happens. So uh, stick around. Make sure you're working out and doing your thing too. That's always good to do while you're watching videos like this or someone on a treadmill or something like that or walking or uh, spinning on a bike. You can do your stuff along with them. Hang in there, guys. All right, guys, going up another plate. Should be 315. Uh, I'm just going to play it by feel and uh, see how it goes, and we'll go from here. Not the greatest rep or range of motion, but I don't do the best range of motion anyway when I do squats. So, hey, I feel like that's pretty decent. Um, now that my body's used to moving that much weight, I'll do another set and I'll probably get like one rep, but maybe it'll be a better rep. You know, that's what you do. You kind of you get your body prepared and work for a certain weight, you shock it real good, and uh, it becomes accustomed to that weight. So, yeah, we'll see what 315 feels like on another rep. So stick around, guys. Keep being awesome. All right, guys. Here we go. 315. One more set. I'll try and do another rep, and I'll try and do it a little cleaner. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Again, when I go heavy like that, and to me that's heavy, uh, that's about as best as I can ask for. Now, if I were to slide my bench under here and do bench squats, mentally it gives you something to go for. And my bench is 21 inches high, which is pretty high for a bench. Uh, but it also gives you something to go for mentally. And it also helps people like myself out with uh, problems uh, to also help physically. So the last time you see me do squats, I did some bench squats. But I'm not doing that today. I'd rather tough it out. Uh, I think I'm going to, crazy as it sounds, I'm going to stick with 315 and probably do a few more sets of one rep. That's how you build your body. That's how you build tolerance. That's how you build, that's how you build muscle. That's how you get muscle memory that's how you do a lot of things it's whenever you stick with a higher weight and just pound out set after set of maybe one rep to three reps and then you can go and drop down to a lighter weight and pound out some you know better reps and even some better range of motion but right now my body feels pretty decent i feel okay under that amount of weight i'm not going to go up anymore and do something stupid um, on the Smith machine, I'm up over 400, but I'm not going to do that because that's crazy. So, uh, 
I'm going to get out another couple of sets of probably 315 as long as everything's good, guys. Stick around, enjoy, and thanks for supporting the channel, all right? Don't go anywhere because we ain't done. All right, here we go. Set number three, going for one rep again. All right, guys, we're going to do another set of one rep again. I know the range of motion isn't pretty, but it's never pretty with me whenever I do squats. Stick around. Be awesome. Stay awesome. Keep supporting the channel. Leave comments. Let's build a strong community. Yeah. Woo! All right, here we go for another set of 315. I know it's kind of boring, but at the same time, you're getting the picture. You're putting your body under a good amount of stress. And you're only doing it for a quick, short rep. Maybe two or three reps at most. Uh, when it's this heavy and it's this much stress on you, you don't want to sit there and overdo yourself because eventually you're going to give out. Uh, either in strength or uh, your body, especially your back. And you don't want to tax your body to that degree to where you're going to be out of commission for a while. Believe me. So just keep it simple. One rep, rack it. One rep, rack it. You're still going to build strength, you're going to build muscle, you're going to build tolerance, and you're going to have a good day in the gym. All right. <laughs> Quit laughing at me, phone. <clears throat> and there you go guys there's another set with another rep let's keep going i may <laughs> Everybody always laughs at me. <laughs> Why is my phone so loud? Anyway, going on for another set. Stick with me, guys. Trust me. I'm old. I know what I'm doing. All right, here we go. This is going to be our final set of 315. All right, just like that, that's our final uh, set of 315. So at the end of the day, you might be thinking that's crazy, but I look at that as one, two, three, four, five. I did five sets of 315, one rep, so that's five, five reps at least of 315, and that's a heavy weight for me. All right, here we are at 225. Let's get a set of this.
shoulders. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Whew. All right. So we're just going to work our way back down. And uh, for, um, for reference, like I said, after going heavy for that many sets, dropping down to 225 felt significantly lighter than it did the first time that I did 225. Whew. So now we're going to drop down to 135 and finish this out with uh, uh, 10 reps on this. So stick around, guys. All right, like I said, we're down to 135. We're going to do a nice set of these, hopefully get 10. And uh, our back's going to leave out of this workout here. Uh, it's normal craptastic self with nothing extra. And we're going to do good. So. So surprise, surprise, I did 12. Whew. Notice on that one how I held out wide and my feet were just a smidgen bit wider. I like holding out wide sometimes on the bar. It feels like you got a little bit better control of the bar, maybe. And uh, of course, adjusting your feet as well gives you a different feeling and kind of works the legs a little bit differently. Now, you can't get quite as versatile and different on this as you can, say, a Smith machine. Uh, because the Smith machine, obviously, the bar is attached to the carriage. And you don't have to worry about the bar going back and forth and flipping and flopping around. That's what she said. So with the Smith machine, it allows you to uh, do a little bit more varied stances and widths and angles of your body compared to your legs. You know where your legs might be during the squat and uh, different stuff like that so uh, they both have their place they're both great uh, they're both needed I think to have a well-rounded workout and uh, that's where I'm gonna head now I'm not gonna film any of that you guys have seen me Smith machine squatted a dozen times but I wanted to just uh, give you a little video on this because I don't do this every day so it felt pretty good uh, my back feels fine fine as it can be and, uh, you know, I didn't go stupid with the amount of reps, but I did good, and I feel proud of what I did, and that's what's important. You know, you're working out to make yourself happy, not not Mr. Uh, Slim Good Body or Gym Rat Joe or, you know, some professional bodybuilder online or, or the professionals out there giving advice and all that stuff. Do it for yourself, okay? And that's what my channel focuses on is everyday people, the regular guys like myself. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. I hope I hope you leave some comments and help me to learn something. Again, I know my form isn't spot on. My range of motion could have been better with the heavier weight. I know all that. So uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff too. The body beat down. What ya? The body beat down. And don't forget, guys, inspire someone along the way, including yourself, because you mean more than anyone in this world, I promise. Okay? Get up, get out, get red, do it to it. And we'll see you next time on the Body Beat Down. Bam! Beating that body down! Uh! Well, guys, surprise, surprise, I'm doing a little extra. I'm going super lightweight. I've only got a 45 on each side. That's super duper light. But what I want to show you is a method uh, that some people speak out about and they think it's not right. 
Uh, they think it's going to hurt you, but I can't imagine our bodies not being able to have our knees go past our toes. I think that's a very strange and uh, ill-conceived notion uh, that people have got thrown out there. What I want to show you is how safe and effective that it can be on something like a hat press. Now for me, keep my feet down nice and low. Okay, and we're gonna bottom out right here. Ready? One, we're bottomed out. My toes are back behind my knees and I'm alive, guys. And you can do this and be okay. Don't be scared to bring your knees past your toes. My heels are up because, well, number one, I'm at an extreme angle. And number two, I don't have that kind of flexibility. Most people don't. That's an extreme uh, angle that I'm in. What this does is it puts a lot of stress and strain on these teardrops. Boom, boom, on your quads. You get that nice stretch, go up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't be scared to do that, guys. It strengthens not only your muscles, but your tendons, your bones, everything. Your ligaments, everything, that, the connective tissue, everything involved in your knee. It strengthens it up. Don't be scared to do it. Just a little tip and a hint, and a little extra workout by the Body Beatdown. We'll see you later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!